All right, so here we go with Woodchopper's Reel in the key of D. So here we are at the basic melody tutorial for the great tune Woodchopper's Reel, uh, played in the key of D. Um, from what I understand, this was a, originally a, a New Brunswick tune, a Canadian tune, um, written or composed by a, a man named Ned Landry, I think. Um, and it goes by a number of different names. It's made its way through the Western Contest circuit. It's definitely popular there. Um, it's just a nice, easy... In the key of D, you know, these tunes lay really well over the fiddle. Uh, so you have a lot of options and, and variations that you can do with a tune like this, um, as you heard in the performance. Um, so get comfortable with the D scale as well as understanding D arpeggios. I'll talk about um, arpeggios several times during this. Um, so this lesson is basically just going to give you the bare bones. Um, this is known as a double reel. Uh, which means that you repeat the A part before you go into the B part. Um, and so it's A-A-B-B -B is the form. And so, yeah, that's basically all you need to know to get started. Just uh, think about your D scale. Um, we'll have some, some variations on that. <laughs> Um, but that's basically what we're going to be working around, as well as an A arpeggio. Um, that will come into play in the second part, for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, you can use some chops, either second finger, third finger, second finger on your D string, third finger on your A string. So that would make a D chord. Or you can do third finger on your D, uh, A string, uh, and first finger F sharp on your E string. Um, and usually I'll start off with four chops um, to start this tune. Um, so that would sound like... Or... All right, and those two first pickup notes, I do like to slur them. And starting with that um, A note, I'll play a little bit and then I'll break it down. Okay, so you notice I put a slur in halfway down there as well. But from here, it's 3-1, three, 3-1, one, three, one, open. Okay, try that. Okay, now, slur these, I would recommend one of those three-note Texas-style slurs here. 3-2-1, open. And that gets you down bow on the down beat for the next measure, um, which is always a good idea. There's always times when you don't want to be down bow on a, on a down beat, but um, um, so those exceptions will happen. But in general, you want to try and do that. So <clears throat> that D note that we hit is the beginning of our first arpeggio. It goes like that. So that is absolutely a, a D arpeggio. Okay, putting those together. Is your first phrase, sort of the question. Your answer is... Okay, so here we go with the advanced tutorial for the great tune Woodchopper's Reel. Um, so I'll play through this tune in a way that was similar to the performance um, bit by bit and I'll break down those licks for you uh, and show you some of the different double stops and trills and variations and ornamentation that I was playing. Um, to start off, why don't we take a look at those pickup notes. Uh, I think I showed you this in the basic melody, but it bears repeating. Okay, so instead of just using a G natural right there with your second finger, why don't you turn that into a triplet phrase. Use your C or your uh, G note and slide it up to a um, a high two. Okay, 
that's one thing you can do to start. Um, so why don't I go ahead and play through one time and we'll see what pops out and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so right there. So I'm allowing my A string to ring as I walk down that. So 3, 2, 1, O oh is all on the D string, but I'm keeping my third, second, and first finger out of the way of the A string, so it'll ring. Okay, you can keep your A string going right there. You can do a hammer on. Okay. 